Hi. Happy Super Science Saturday, What's everyone. Up? How are what you? What is up? Thank you for joining us Thank here you. on a lovely Saturday morning. Very windy. Very windy, very, very rainy windy. day for the ducks. Yeah. Day for the ducks. Yeah. And we've brought them on the show. Oh, I went, I, went, I went this way. We don't know where the ducks are. They're everywhere. <laughs> They're I everywhere. Just pulled out a duck, like. yeah. we, we still have to do that, have a pets episode. Oh, yeah, I'm so yeah. buzzing for that. We've got to figure out the that. logistics of you guys sending in all your pets to Morning, us. Eva. Morning, Eva. Morning, Eva. You... Eagle Eye was here 12 hours ago. <laughs> Eagle Eye, hello. Eagle Eye. Eagle Eye, have you been Eagle sitting here for 12 hours just Good morning, Ursula. Happy morning, morning to you too. Oh, and Joe, straight in. Oh, straight in with a joke from, from Sam. Sam for Dublin. He, Sam for Dublin. He is already in with a joke immediately. Two Adams were walking down the road. One said, I think I've lost an electron. The other said, are you sure? Yes. The person said, I'm positive. Which is the... Yeah, which is, it's not only a hilarious joke, it's a very thematic a joke very of the thematic show. Joke. Yes. Well done, Sam, for Dublin. Thank you, Sam. We will be talking a lot about electrons and atoms later, yes. too. Yes. As well as firing electrons at each other, through each other, off each other, in each other. Electrons everywhere. It's going to be wild. It'll be, It'll be wild. Electrons everywhere, you won't be able to grab them, they'll it be all over be the wild. place. Uh, we're gonna really zap ourselves awake this morning, uh, which uh, we can't wait for it to do. We've so just concocted confused. this brand new game. Morning, Cloda. How are you? Yeah, new Cloda, game. What's up? New game. We yeah. were uh, we were inspired by a game actually that Cloda used to have. Nice, yeah. nice time in there, Cloda. Um, that Cloda, you might remember from our childhood, which um, involved long time ago. Yeah, it'll be too long ago. Um, involved electrocution. <laughs> And we've been inspired by that game. What game are you playing? Morning, Dad. How are I you? I showed you it during the week. Oh, that, that game. The yeah, yeah, thing yeah, where yeah, you had to yeah. react to it. That was yeah. a terrifying game. Yeah, we had that as kids. <laughs> Remember that thing they had in amusement parks? The electric chair. Like it was just like in I amusements. I was always afraid of like amusement parks. That would give you a, They couldn't get away with that these days. You'd sit in the chair, hold the two electrodes and send a, a, a fairly strong shock through your body and it and would pay to do it and pay you, to you do pay, it yeah you pay, pay, you pay for pay the privilege it. like they'd have a scoreboard of how much uh, voltage you could take it was unbelievable yeah dead i wish we we should we should have one of them but we what were inspired was, what, what by happened that happened in kildare when you were growing up like, it wasn't kildare it was all around it's not self no no it's not trabalgan let's say trabalgan it was yeah. death trabalgan clara lara like yeah, yeah. so yeah we've been inspired by games like that and uh the theme kind of of today's show is all about static yeah electricity so uh we are going to be shooting little mini lightning bolts at each other for the yeah. crack yeah why not Declan yeah. can't talk pancakes you got pancakes pancake saturday can't talk Pancake okay, Saturday. I mean, look. Obviously, during the week we had Pancake Tuesday. Let us know what your favorite pancake toppings are. Yeah. But some people, you know, had to work, or you're like, you know, why, why limit yourself to one day of delicious pancakes? I declare every day to be Pancake Day. <laughs> I declare every day Pancake Day. Yeah. So happy Pancake Day, everyone. Well, and I don't know if, if anyone got to check out our Rube Goldberg machine during the week as part of the Northern Ireland Science Festival. We basically made a food-themed Rube Goldberg machine. Yeah. That w put toppings on pancakes. Yeah. That was the goal of the machine to put the toppings uh, on the pancakes. But real talk, they weren't very nice pancakes. I ate yeah, a lot of they, disgusting pancakes. They also were just pancakes. sitting there for weeks. They're still there, aren't they? Yeah. They're, they're still, still there. Somewhere. You did eat them though. I felt like I had to, I had to commit for the show. Much. I had to commit for the show, yeah, but they, fair, they fair. didn't taste We had very nice. uh, the pancakes here. Oh, you can kind of still see our the platforms there. Yeah, the uh, shuttles up. Look at the shuttle. Yeah. Uh, basically, uh, our Rube Goldberg machine, chain reaction machine, would do a lot of mad stuff. Things falling, knocking things over, swing going down, pulling rope, shuttles flying down, loop covered loops. in marshmallows, honey dripping on the pancakes. Honey dripped and, everywhere. Uh, everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. But it worked. Yeah, so we were able to use our shuttle to mm. blow some mini marshmallows onto our awaiting pancakes. Awaiting pancakes. Yeah, and they, they tasted not great. <laughs> Ursula <laughs> says, happy Goldberg pancakes. Happy Goldberg, Goldberg pancakes. Do you want to release a brand of, of uh, Goldberg pancakes? Of pancakes called Goldberg pancakes. It probably is like, yeah, just like a family business. Where's my Google? Goldberg's pancakes. Where's my Google? I'm gonna I'm gonna find out if they exist. Yeah. Hang on, bear with me one second. This is the show now. I'm just gonna Google things live. You need like the the the, 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 the ad jingle. Do you know for what Goldberg's. we should play one day? I don't know how it would work, but we should play the the Wikipedia game. You know, we have to get from one article to another by just like clicking links and see how fast you can do it. No, I think so I for have example, hobbies. Uh... I... <laughs> so like I could tell you, ha you have to get from like. Thierry Henry to Bic Pens and you have to just like try and click th through links on Wikipedia uh, to get to it. I don't know how we do not it. Hard. He used to uh, pick things out of his teeth with them. No, no jokes. Yeah, that's what he used to do. 
It was pre-game ritual. I'm, 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 I'm making that up. I know. Goldberg pancakes. <laughs> Lee Goldberg pancakes. Oh no, there is. There is. Uh, Ursula, you're correct. There are oh, Goldberg pancakes. Oh, he's a pancake pancakes. artist. A pancake artist. We gotta get in touch with this guy. Flipping, pa- flipping pancake room Goldberg machine. Oh. Uh, Lee Goldberg. Lee Goldberg. Lee, if you're watching or anyone out there with the six degrees of freedom knows Lee Goldberg, please get in contact with him. Tell him there are two eager pancake enthusiasts waiting for his Someone named, uh, someone named Robin Goldberg is making hidden veggie pancakes. Yeah, screw that guy. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Or, <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, so, Oh, Aoife's got a joke for you. You can read it. You love an Aoife Excellent. Joke. Okay, Aoife joke here on a Saturday morning. I finally got rid of that static charge I've been carrying around. Now... Nay. Now I'm ecstatic. You've been having too much time with the Northern Ireland side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, Nay, well, I'm ecstatic. Just because I was just Googling, I noticed my my mother texted me to say uh, happy Cyber Super Sign Saturday. Oh, she texted <laughs> you. The she just funny. texted me. You know, get direct line. I'm off. Get the direct oh, line yeah. there. So that's what our show is going to be about today. Static electricity. Because we do a lot of electricity experiments we, here. We do, yeah. Uh, it's one of my favourite topics just in general. Uh, fascinated by lightning, thunderstorms. Yeah, love thunderstorms. Uh, and uh, fascinated to see where lightning comes from. We've had a good thunderstorm in a while. No, and uh, yeah, I really uh, to be awesome if there was. Yeah, one. they're great. They're very enjoyable. Um, very cool. So we're fascinated with electricity here, as you know, as we generally try to pass a million volts of electricity around us. So um, very importantly, not through, turn, not through, us, not through around us, us, around us. Very us. important yeah. distinction. We do uh, turn rock and roll or thunder and lightning into rock and roll music. Yeah. So we're big electricity enthusiasts yes. here. So we're gonna do some static electricity things, which we kind of been messing around with during the week. We yeah, we we kind of took like the the standard static electricity experiments. We're like, how can we tweak this? How can we turn this into a game? Basically, is what yeah, we did. and and we have, and we're gonna test it for the very first time later, which is probably not great when you're. Dealing with what will be about two hundred thousand volts of electricity. For context, the uh, the plug sockets in your house are two hundred and thirty volts. Yeah. Yeah. A bit higher. The entire Lewis, seven fifty. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Yeah. yeah, but I think seven fifty. I don't think it's AC. I think it's DC. Uh huh. Okay. I think with the Lewis, yeah. I don't think it's uh, ultra. But yeah. 750 volts controls the entire Lewis system. Mm. We're gonna mess around with 200,000. Yes. Yeah. Cool. With the important <laughs> note that it's the current that kills you. So high voltage is jet, higher the voltage. Sometimes the current goes down really low, okay. and you you, you can you can deal with that. It's the current that gets you. The current that gets you. Yeah, okay. Gets. So we got massive voltage going on in the show today. I also want to point out uh, Sam for Dublin's joke. This was possibly one of my. Did just, you take for, it just retracted it. <laughs> Literally. This Sam! Maybe it's a good one. you know it though. It's a good one. Yeah, but why did he take it back, Sam? That's actually probably like one of my, my favorite science jokes. It's a very clever joke. It's a very Sam very clever in. joke. Sam, put it back in for everyone to bask in the glory of that joke. I'm gonna wait because it's Sam's joke. I don't okay, want to take his you don't, joke. Okay, you don't want to steal. No. If remember, he, if remember, he's up you for used it. to steal jokes. I've been, I've been rewise. <laughs> I know exactly what you're gonna say. Hang on one second. So recently, I've been rewatching every episode of Super Science Saturday because yeah, yeah, I'm building a, a bible of all the things that we've done on the show, just so you know we can keep track of it. And uh, you, in the early episode, possibly pre episode ten, wanted to steal a joke from Kean. And now I can't remember what the joke was. But now I know in a similar episode, I stole your funnel joke. You, you're the joke stealer here. You just want to get to the bottom of that. But, you, but you're not going to steal Sam's joke. No. You're going to let no, him do you're it. You're the joke stealer. I'm not. Now that that's all wrapped up in a neat little package. Let's talk about electricity. Yeah. <laughs> but before we do that, that is the theme this week. But it was a massive week in science. In science, uh, in space, in the world. Yeah, that. Uh, still super excited about where the Mars Perseverance rover landed on Mars. Another planet, new rover on another planet. NASA did it again. It's absolutely fantastic. Let us know in the comments if you watched it. Watch Eagle the landing, Eye, yeah. I know you watched the landing. Uh, let us know if Do you know else what this it. has taught me more than anything this week? Is that I can't spell the word perseverance. Every time I write it, it's wrong. Perseverance. Perseverance. Per- I, d- I don't know what I do wrong, but every do, time yeah. there's that little red line oh. underneath it, it's like, no. Nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. Did you mean this? I'm like, yes, I did mean that. Thank you. So, yeah, that's a mental block I have is that I can't spell the word perseverance. There you go. Sam, back in with the joke. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, two scientists go into a bar. One says, I will have H2O, and the other says, I'll have H2O too. The second one died. 
Because <laughs> they drank hydrogen peroxide. You can't drink bleach. <laughs> hydrogen production H2O2 is bleach. Hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, Mars, you the die. planet entirely populated by robots. Amazing. Or is it? Oh, oh, well, that's oh. the whole point. Yeah. That is what Perseverance is going to go to find out, to search for ancient signs of microbial life, to see Them little, if there little was guys. anything there in the past. Mm. Plus, it's also got ingenuity attached to it, which it will be the first helicopter flight on another planet. Really A little cool. helicopter is going to go off and then just and go he, around he lives, a bit. He lives in Perseverance's belly. Oh, and just, he's just like... <laughs> just waiting for his moment. Like, and come like, on, it's gonna come go on. Fly, I travelled really far for this is my big moment. Gonna like, be cool. He's like, I really gotta use the bathroom. Yeah, you gotta yeah, let yeah. me out. It's been a while. Yeah. So uh, that was absolutely awesome. Well done, NASA. And awesome for the human race. NASA, if you're watching. If you're watching. <laughs> Which obviously you are. Yes, of course. And uh, one of the moments, we want to share some of those moments uh, with you again to relive it because it's absolutely awesome. Uh, so the Mars Perseverance rover. Go Percy. We are starting the straighten up and fly right maneuver in preparation for parachute deploy. The navigation has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration. Skyfin maneuver has started. About 20 meters off the surface. We're getting signals from MRO. Touchdown confirmed. Yeah. Perseverance yeah. safely yeah. on the surface of Mars. Ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. Yeah. Looks like we're getting the first image. This is the most amazing thing. This is what NASA does. This is what we can do as a country. You would be so buzzing, to be fair. Unbelievable. Like. Would there be anywhere better on the planet to be than in that in that room? room. Oh. Unbelievable. And do you see, like, the would way... Would you say that the atmosphere was electric? We could, if you were trying to relate it to our show. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they were. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, here on Mark and Doc, we're doing this yeah, with yeah. you and Mark and Ali are doing this week. Well, unbelievable. Even just looking at that, you can get goosebumps of the amazing work that that team does. And again, they had to deal with the pandemic as yeah. well. A lot of them had to work. Working from home to <laughs> send a rover to land on Mars. Doing that from your gaff. Yes. You'd want to make sure you want to make sure you had a decent Wi-Fi signal. You would. Yeah. You would. Yeah. Yeah. But you'd be amazing. Getting, up, to getting onto air and boat, boat. Be like, <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah, fast come enough. on, come on. Yeah, very cool. Unbelievable. Awesome stuff. Humans are amazing, and we can't wait to see uh, the data that comes back yeah. from uh, and Perseverance. Perseverance. Has sent some lovely photos back. Yes, this was the first photo sent back from its engineering camera. So literally right after landing. So it's actually a bit dusty in it, and again, just with its engineering. Uh, cameras but this is another image very very clear that it sent back the first full color image unbelievable that's on mars that's on mars casually casually that, photo that's from on mars, mars. i love that when the first photo was released everyone made the same joke i thought it was supposed to be a red planet looks a bit gray to me <laughs> everyone said the same thing when they saw the first image of it <laughs> but like perseverance like i always think of perseverance as being like a little like toy car yeah kind of thing. i think it's like we have our rovers you see oh right, yeah right yeah, yeah yeah so i kind of think of them as being at the same size as like our mars oh, no. rovers they're massive they're big Let's, they're huge and check it out this is this it's kind of they say it's the size of like a mini cooper that's it they're being built in uh, JPL. Th those big mini coopers are like a normal a standard size mini cooper i don't know i don't know either i, I don't, don't know, know. I don't know mini, mini cooper. cooper um but like look at it in comparison to the, the people yeah, in their dust suits. it is quite large it is quite large. Uh, this is just a computer generated image of it, um, what it might look like on the Martian planet. Uh, but yeah, really, really, really nice science story. And oh, unbelievable. I have an update on a previous oh, yeah. science story. So yeah. a few weeks ago, we brought you a really uplifting uh, science story about the penguins in Dingle Aquarium and how they were keeping them entertained in yes, lockdown. Yeah, was yeah. The penguins were painting and this, this week, awesome. I got an amazing present of one of the paintings done. Oh, I've got the light. Yeah, one yeah, of yeah, the yeah. paintings done by the penguins at Dingle Aquarium. So this is a painting done by Peggy and her friends. And Peggy, what an artist. Yeah. She's got a great use of negative space. <laughs> I hear that's a thing in art. Um, and a great color palette here of pinks and purples and blues and stuff. 
That's so, uh, from Peggy. That's from that, Peggy. And that's Peggy. That's Peggy there. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, so... Has an artist kind of head on it, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> she's a, got that, yeah. That's the little the side eye. Um, so that was a, a very lovely gift which I received this, very this cool. week. Very cool. So big, big fan of that. So nice to be able to give an update on a, yeah. on a previous science story. Yeah. We like uh, that. Good morning, Sophia. Shocked. Uh, good morning, Sophia. Thanks for joining us too. Yeah. Uh, Keen says it looks like a block of cheese under a microscope. That was the perseverance image, not, not Peggy's, Peggy's art. <laughs> Just in case Peggy what gets offended. What do you think Peggy was getting at here? Like, if you yeah, do you think it's interpret- one of those things? Like, do you know uh, when they're testing the psychological oh, profile yeah, of people? Where the blob, like, what, so what do you see here? Let us know. What do you see? Yeah. In Peggy's painting. First thing that comes to your mind. What is it? What is it? First thing that comes to your mind. Tell us what it is. What was Peggy trying to reveal your psychological state to us, us live here on Super Science Saturday? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we won't be able to interpret it in any way, shape, or form. But yeah, we, can, yeah. we can pretend. We, we can try. Uh, we can try. That's really cool. Very, very cool. So we are uh, going to get out our static generator. Yes. So our Van de Graaff generator. I'm hey. going to get the plug yeah. under the table. Bear this, with me. Check it out. Always oh, a big fan of this. This is a Van de Graaff generator named after its inventor, Robert J. Van de Graaff. It's a machine that can build up lots of static electricity. Yes. So electricity that's not flowing. Yeah. It's static. It's static. not moving. Staying still. Builds up on that dome. And you can build up static electricity. I'm sure all of you have at home I, or somewhere. I you do a up, lot. I build up a yeah, lot. Yeah. You a do lot of time we're in here and I touch my chair, I get I get a shot. I think it's because it. you're really negative. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, think, I don't know. If, I don't know if it's charged. because, like, when I walk, do I shuffle my feet? You drag your feet all the time, and your, do I? Yeah, and your hands drag along the ground too. You... <laughs> like a chip. <laughs> I told you, it's, it's about posture, <laughs> Ali. Oh, boys, boys. Yeah, so I I build up a fair amount of static electricity, but uh, it does depend on the the conditions that you're in in terms of like how dry the air is. Yes. If there's dust around and all that kind of stuff, that can all change. Um, so how much like you build when up. you're dragging your feet and hands around, you build you can build up static electricity by things rubbing off one another. That's yeah. how. So it's a transfer of charge, either positive or negative charge, uh, between two objects. Yeah, so, so rubbing can build up static electricity. There's some really simple experiments you can do at home for static electricity. So yeah. You can um, if you blow a balloon, rub it off your hair, mm-hmm. your hair will stand on end. You can get the balloon to stick to the wall. Yeah, you can. Yeah. If you build up enough mm. static charge. Um, you can try and pick up things like uh, we tried to pick up Rice Krispies. Yeah, you with can do that. It's really balloon simple. Before. Balloon, Rice Krispies. Uh, yeah, all got in them. our DLR series, the Steam Lab, we made this little wormery garden, mm. and we were able to make the little worms. Da- kind of more like meerkats than worms. I, I, I like meerkats think. too. Yeah. So you charge the balloon. My dad loves. My dad loves meerkats. They are very cute. They're like. one of his favorite animals. Yeah, he gets very, very excited. Cute. He used to watch a lot of Meerkat Manor. Did you ever watch that show? It's just no, like it was like it basically show? like a soap opera about oh, no. like rival meerkat families it was, it was wild um, but we were able to make these little worms wiggle and dance um, picking up so you basically you get your balloon you rub it off your hair there's a transfer of electric charge between your hair and the balloon the balloon builds up excess negative charge so all those electrons are on the balloon it has negative charge and it can cause those little uh, meerkats to, little to meerkats. raise up uh, to be attracted uh, to the negative charge Eve has put in a joke that you're gonna love what do you call a detective electrician? <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. Is that, is that, Holmes. Is that funny? It, it, it's the unit of resistance, so um, like electrical resistance. So funny. it's very good. Funny. Very good on top oh, of that. Oh, Eagle Eye's well. concerned about Mark plus a big metal thing that conducts electricity. Eagle Eye, you're not wrong. It's going to be pr- a pretty dangerous show for Mark this morning. Yeah. Um, so, Eagle Eye, thank you for your, ca- uh, your kind of concern. Yeah, concern. Because, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, going to be a shocking show so for this, me. So, this. Obviously, builds up a, a much larger yeah. electric charge than rubbing a balloon off, off your hair. Absolutely, and it does so by again two things rubbing off one another inside, and it's like an electron elevator. It transfers all the electrons up, and they sit on this dome here. Because as we're going to find out, uh, electric static electricity can gather on rounded things. Yeah, it jumps off points. But, but gathers on round. That's why things, this is yeah. round because it can gather up that huge amount of static electric charge. So what will happen is the charge will build up here, and uh, it wants to neutralize itself and uh, shoot somewhere. <laughs> shoot so somewhere. Will we ch- test it out? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. This is basically the the grounding sphere. So this is uh, attached to the Earth, so the electricity can flow through this safely to the ground. Uh, so it's a, a very attractive point for the electrons to jump to. 
Do not turn it on yet. I was just checking it was on high. Oh, good. Uh, straight gonna, to high. Yeah, straight to high. I'm going to move um, sensitive electronics yeah, we a have, little we further have learned, uh, than usual. As, as well as with our, our Tesla coil, the Van de Graaff, when it grounds, um, can interfere with uh -huh. mostly displays, isn't it? Like yeah. uh, LED displays. So like our laptop screens sometimes yes. go black. The screen with your comments on it may go black briefly. It may go we, black we, we briefly. But we will still be able to read you. Don't okay, worry. so we'll take a little... Sh you've um, already taken a little shuffle. I'm not, uh, yeah, I, I'm afraid of this thing. Like. Yeah, it, yeah. So again... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, about 200,000 volts on this. So it builds up a huge electric field. So it electrifies the air. And sparks are going to jump to the uh, grounding rod and flow safely to the ground. So let's let's bang it's already on high. I'm if really not surprised. The, if you sell the Van de Graaff after touching it with the grounding sphere, is it free of charge? <laughs> that's a good no, one. No, it'll cost you. <laughs> but that's us. very good. Oh! Why'd you take it away? That was really good. Why'd you take it away? Everyone's taking away their jokes yeah, these good days. Jokes. Uh, Sophia says snow leopards are her favorite. Great one. choice. Snow leopards are gorgeous. That made me Van der Graaff. <laughs> Keen, you're killing me here. I need to make some of these jokes. I'm gonna have to just use them. Yeah, that you're gonna be gonna rob Keen's jokes. Are you? No, no, no. He's just taking all the good ones. <laughs> were, okay. you, were you genuinely gonna say that one? I, w I would have. I would have linked that. If would you put? It, 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 Maybe it, she it, made it, a spelling mistake. Maybe possibly. We yeah. speak Efa though. We understand yeah, the spelling true. mistake. Okay, okay, let's bang on the yeah. Van de Graaff and you're gonna hear it as well. So it might be difficult to see because there's lots of light in the room, but you'll definitely hear the discharging of electric uh, sparks. So, so it's on. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, and our screen screen's went gone. Straight. Oh. No, we're still live on my phone. It's okay, fine. cool. So you can hear, oh, I think it's uh, checking out your phone. Oh, it did check out my phone there. Yeah, so... so I put my laptop over here and it didn't affect it. I was able to still read it, but it did, yeah, it did affect my phone screen there. Do let us know if the stream is cutting out. Yeah, that would be very interesting because uh, we did predict that might happen. But you can definitely I tell... I was being sly for misspelling Van de Graaff despite the fact that it's written on the screen. I misspell Van de Graaff. Yeah. Van der Graaff. Everybody Van der Graaff. does. Yeah, Every time we write does. it, we turn to each other and go, duh or duh. duh yeah, duh. Every time. Duh. <laughs> Every time. And um, uh, the stream is still, it went uh, black. It did go black. It did oh, go black. Okay, okay. Okay, so uh, let's get the grounding dome out of here and let's uh, see. I'll just neutralize it. Okay, good. Not yep. much charge built up on it. Very interesting, but uh, hopefully the screen is back. Yeah, uh, it is. Yes, yeah. excellent. But yeah, that's what we predicted to happen. There's a massive discharge of electrical energy and we've got a, a lot of electrical devices yeah. here with big screens, big LED screens, which can interfere with that electric force. And there you go, screen yeah. went black. So let's- Screen uh, went black and scary. I'm so sorry, Sophia. It's okay, we're okay. <laughs> Imagine it came back and we're just both. <laughs> We're like smoke just rising from our heads. That's, like that would know, be terrifying. You know that's like my, my biggest fear yeah. when it comes to these things. So we will try and uh, watch that uh, later to make sure that it doesn't keep going black. Yeah. Um, and but if, if we're it, good now, we're back. We're back. If it does go black, uh, we're fine. And if, maybe if, if it doesn't come back, call the authorities. <laughs> Which one? Oh. Men in Black. Oh, you call Men in Black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Will, Screen Black, you gotta call Men Will in Black. Will Smith arrive just like, what you got doing? What are you doing? Wipe your shoes on the mat before you come in the house. Someone just clean this stuff. How about your mom and dad by getting a job so you can help pay for school supplies? Oh, johnny has got nice clean wraps. He's got lovely wraps. He never curses. I like that. Is the screen still black? No, it's not. It's back. Sophia, you're worrying us here. <laughs> okay, so we we could you could probably hear it anyway. The yeah. discharging of electric charge, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put a lot of uh, metallic cake tins. Yeah, so we got those the top. little bun cases, but uh, rather than be made of paper, mm -hmm. ours are are lined with aluminium foil, so like your tin foil inside here, mm. um, and obviously some metals conduct electricity. Yes. So uh, the electric charge is going to be transferred to the metal cake tins yeah. and now like charges repel each other yeah unlike charges attract each like other like with magnets yeah at opposite ends attract one another and exactly. like ends repel one another electricity so and magnetism very closely related electromagnetism yeah one of the fundamental forces so the metal take tins would be co covered in negative charge negative repels negative and you're going to see what happens possibly or the screen will go black we'll see we'll see we'll see, we'll see or we won't Who okay knows? so we're going to turn this on 
And uh, keep your Tin eyes. Tinfoil hat time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We would try catch them on our heads. That's oh, a great yeah, idea. Okay, okay, yeah. Let's try and do that. Okay, so uh, here we go. Let's try now. Keep your eyes on the cake tins. Here we go. Oh, all right. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I caught one. one. Yeah. Oh, you caught one. Yeah. Nice. Not on my hat. On my okay, head. Okay, very cute. They're lovely little. I love that Mark picked these ones. They got little unicorns yeah, on them. Yeah, yeah. They're very, very cute. Nice. Very cute. But very cool. All those metal cake tins get covered in the negative charge, and they all rappel each other. Yeah. Pretty cool. Like, get out of my way. Get out of my, get out way. my way. Now, we also said there's a reason the dome is round. So round things are great for gathering charge on points. Not so much. And yeah. we'll demonstrate that with my favourite ninja Death Star. Cat, like, what? Like, why do you have... A ninja death Who star. Do, they, I guarantee you everyone watching has got ninja death stars. Let us know in the comments if you've got a ninja death star. In your pockets, you're like, Visa card, Revolute, death star. The guards might turn up at your house if you admit to it here, but like, who knows? <laughs> who knows? So we're going to put the ninja death star on top. We'll show them the shape of it first. So as we said, uh, pointed things leak the electric charge. Yeah. So electric charge is going to leak off the points there and they're going to kind of shoot out in one direction. And as we know from Newton's third law. You said one direction. Uh, Yay, one direction! <laughs> that little bit is going to be cut out of this show and put everywhere. You just go, yay, one direction. We love one direction on the show. Yeah. yeah. Their songs are bops. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Oh yeah, don't have a ninja death star, just a ginger ninja. We used to name, call it Aoife ginger ninja growing oh. up. Did she have red hair? Yeah. Oh, great. And she's a ninja. <laughs> and she's a ninja. How do you know? Just now. Okay. You can tell. The Death Star is going on top of it. And oh, she does I to keep going on. Eva has a great Christmas jumper that's gingerbread men ninjas. So they're ginger ninjas too. <laughs> it's fantastic. I <laughs> gotcha. So I'm going to give this a little uh, kind of little nudge yeah just so the guys can maybe kind of see it better and we'll turn it on so the charge is going to stream off the points on the death star and you'll see that it starts turning so you can see it there yeah. so those electrons are shooting off the points in one direction giving an equal opposite force pushing the death star in the other, other direction <laughs> newton <laughs> van de graaf newton, newton <laughs> van de graaf pretty cool though check it out it's it's around. Huh? No, they didn't live at the same time no. And it's still going. Yeah. Still just like pushing off those um those electrons. Bye. And and we'll try and, and take them. off this without uh destroying your hands. There we go. Nice. Very, very cool. So that shows you that charge jumps off points. Now that is behind another very cool invention, the lightning yeah. rod. Now growing up, I and I I think a lot of other people as well thought oh, that definitely. a lightning rod was there. Because it, to, it, well, it was there to get hit. To, to attract to lightning. To attract lightning so that yeah. the lightning would hit the point as opposed to hitting anything else. Yes. And then travel down around the building, not through the building, yeah. safely into the ground protecting the building. Yeah, that's what I would talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not really the no, case. No, it's actually there to bleed charge off the thunderstorm. So to, to take away energy from the thunderstorm. To reduce its power. Yeah. Really. So there's less chance of your house or building or structure getting hit by yeah. the lightning so very cool it actually pulls the electric charge like we said with pointed objects charge leaks off them so it's able to take charge slowly from the storm decreasing that electric field around it decreasing the likelihood of getting yeah. hit and then if it if, if the lightning rod then does get hit uh -huh. it's obviously being hit to a much lesser extent because it's bled some of the charge off and it is also grounded so if it yeah. does get hit it'll travel safely so we're going to demonstrate this much possible chance of uh, the whole screen going black again um, but we actually will be able to uh, save it by using the lightning rod so yeah. this is going to be our uh, demo lightning rod so just again just just a nail and uh, imagine me as the house and this is the thunderstorm are you like a three bed no four bed? semi detached semi detached yeah yeah is there a garage still good attached? price like it's on the south side so That's so still there uh... housing market's a bit weird at the minute though you know you can't go in to see a house keep your personal problems <laughs> off the show you can't go into you can't go into to see a house people want people oh, to buy, buy houses, houses blind <laughs> like you can't you know, they just buy it without seeing it 
That's not good. No, no one's going to do that. No one's going to no. no do that. No. But anyway, yeah, yeah. Wow. so you're not, you're not getting sold in, in COVID time. No, no, no. I'm trying to be protected here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thunderstorm. We're going to turn on. You'll hear the thunderstorm raging, shooting the electricity back and forth. Uh, the screens will probably go black. Yeah. But I'm going to try and save the day with the lightning rod. Mm -hmm. Bleeding be some of that charge yeah. off. So let's uh, demonstrate it first and we'll talk about it later. So we have our... I'm going to turn the screen off. <laughs> Preemptively turn off yeah. the screen. Okay, here we go. Possibly screens going black. I might start with this. Start with it, yeah. Okay. Just so, oh, there we uh, go. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're still in business. Yeah. Right now, the thunderstorm is not discharging because I'm bleeding some of the energy off it with the nail. If I take the nail away, I'm always checking to make sure it hasn't gone black. The stream is still good. The awesome. Our screen is going black with the stream. Oh, Our there stream. goes the stream. <laughs> There goes the stream, it came back there. As soon as I say the stream is good, it goes. Yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna keep the lightning rod here. So basically, that charge is building up on the dome and I'm leaking, stealing, stealing some of that some charge, of the charge from the point on the lightning rod. If I do take away the lightning rod, bleeding the charge off it so it can't build up enough to strike. Now let's- We did cut out twice. Yeah. Are we back? Uh, we're back. Okay, I love the way it slowly comes back. It just fades to black, yeah. Well, Sophia's scared. Don't worry, Sophia, we got it all under That's control. Okay. Well, yeah, just really cool info as, as to how a lightning rod works. Yeah, which very, is, very cool. I think a very common misconception mm. that people would have thought that they were there to get hit. Yes, because uh, discharging the Van de Graaff little by little it doesn't hurt. No. Like, so it, the electricity is still passing through me. Through in, the nail into your Into hand. the ground. Yeah. But it's only a little at a time, so you don't feel anything. Do you feel a tingle or anything? Like nothing, nothing at yeah. all. But if you were to discharge it all at once, like with your hand, you get a little you, shock. You feel, you feel it. Be you feel it. More of that later. <laughs> now, we did something else. We uh, stuck a bottle of water. Yeah, so we discovered that uh, of the well. We discovered. we discovered we discovered it so water conducts electricity because it's got uh, loads of like salts and minerals mm -hmm. and stuff dissolved into it pure water won't really conduct electricity not as well uh, not as well um so once it's gotten got like normal tap water or mineral water has salts and stuff dissolved into it and you can actually do your own static electricity experiment with water at home mm. so if you just get a comb and comb it through your hair and then turn on your tap just like a little bit so there's yeah, a little, a little stream, stream of water stream. Um, and bring your charged comb because you're it's gonna get charged mm -hmm. from your hair bring that close to the steady stream of water and see what happens yeah but we're gonna take it to a new yeah level. <laughs> thankfully we have pre-recorded this so there'll be yeah. no blackouts no blackouts and uh there'll be no uh season two of the vanishing at explorium according to Fleur. Yeah, that's the sequel to The Somethings. Yes, yeah, 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 brilliant. Very similar though, there was a lot of, a bit of a vanishing at the there Explorium was, there yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. But uh, check out what happens when you stick a bottle of water on top of the Van de Graaff generator. Pretty cool. They're lightning in a Very bottle. Lightning Very in a cool. bottle. Yeah. It looks like veins. Yeah, it does. it does look like veins. Or like trees. Love veins. Fleur loves... Not me. <laughs> Fleur loves veins. <laughs> Your secret's out. <laughs> it, looks like, uh, it looks like trees as well. Like They, yeah. look, they look really, really Very, cool. Very cool. Li lit literally mini lightning bolts. Lightning so in a bottle. Branching out. Yeah, lightning in a bottle. Very cool. Very cool, isn't it? Um, so obviously when, when we bring out the Van de Graaff, the first <laughs> thing people think of is like, oh, it's that thing you put your hands on, your hair stands up. <laughs> and yes, yes, it does do that because the charge goes to your hair and each of your hairs then has the same charge. Mm. Like charge repel each other. So your hair stands out from your head and stands out from one another. This one is not super duper powerful for that. For that. For that. Yeah, when yeah. your hair is like yours. 
Yeah, I have very yeah. thick hair, so it does it like if I if you had very fine hair and you put your hands on this one, it probably would start. Uh-huh. Yeah, but yeah. I, I have quite thick hair, so we had to <laughs> go to the the big one. So we've got a Van de Graaff generator that is is gigantic, taller than me. Yeah, much taller. Huge. Like, what? Uh, six and a half feet. Six and a half feet. Probably six and a half Massive feet Massive dome. So very Massive large. Um, so when we do, when I do stand on that one, depending on when I wash my hair and everything, yeah, it's yeah, very yeah, fickle. Yeah, yeah. Um, my hair does stand on end, so we've got a little, a little picture of that. Yeah, a little picture of Ali, um, a little worried. L- looking like pretty argue, like, terrified. Like, like, fine. Like, that's, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. This is a huge uh, static electric charge that builds up very on large this electric charge, but, uh, yeah. Ali looking... Uh, uh, a little, a ma- ma- mildly to moderately concerned. <laughs> Mild to moderately Mild concerned. Mild to moderate peril and concern. Uh, but you can see my hair is standing up on end there. But it does be, uh, it does be, it, do, it is quite fickle in terms of like how dry or like how, many, how much oil is in your hair and all mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. So if, uh, if you have nice, if you have fine if hair. If you have nice hair. If you have fine hair, um, it works phenomenally well. Mm. Um, so I think I might have to get a wig. I think so. <laughs> the, the You'll have to solution. shave your hair, get a wig. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's, it's uh, you'll have to do it. I think so. Mm. Yeah, okay, I'll do it for the show. No, I won't. <laughs> I'm not shaving my head for the show. <laughs> not Eva, when I first heard how electricity is measured, I was like, what? Measured in what? Oh, right. Wonderful. <laughs> um, so we, like we said, we've come up with a game to do with the Van de Graaff what? generator. But because of the way the Van de Graaff is messing with the electronics today, I think what we're going to do is before we do that, We'll show the solution to last week's challenge. Let's definitely do it before and, this whole thing gets destroyed. And set the next challenge, um, and then we'll we'll play the game. Yeah, definitely. Um, so last week we challenged you to uh, get a get a ziploc bag or a plastic <laughs> 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 to get a plastic bag and to fill it up with some water. Cool. And then your challenge was to uh, put something sharp through it, so like a sharpened pencil or a wooden skewer or something like that you could put a nail through it if you mm. wanted to it's my nail um, lightning rod nail <laughs> mm, delicious lightning <laughs> rod nail <laughs> so um, if you tried this one at home you'll realise there's no trick to it it just no. works so you just take your, your sharp pencil I am going to get the spill tray out for this though yes always good and uh, might just move the electronic equipment it's not going to go that badly slightly maybe who knows um, so I'm going to get the spill tray here and then you just have to you just have to commit to it so I'm going to do the skewer first and you just poke it through the bag of water. Check it out. And it doesn't leak. It's like that, do you know that magic trick where the, the assistant's in the bag? And that's what bag. we're going to do later. So you can see you push it through and it doesn't leak despite the fact that you've now made yeah. two holes on either side. We'll try it with a pencil, a nice sharp pencil. Uh, oh, good pencil. Good pencil, yeah. So check, like check it out. Holes. Straight true. Now, the reason that this is work is because, it works is because plastic bags are made up of long chains of polymers. Mm-hmm. And when you disturb those chains, what you're doing with this, with the skewer, is you're poking through one of those chains. So the chain just kind of like forms around it, yeah. almost like warps, repairs itself, or just like warps. Yeah. yeah. So you end up with a few little drippy drips, but not too bad considering yeah. the fact that we have now poked six sharp things. Yeah, through it. Through it. You would think it would just leak everywhere. Yeah. Now, obviously, once you remove, yeah, your sharp things. It's like Braveheart when you get hit with the the with arrow. arrow. Yeah. And like the, keep the arrow in, don't take it, it out. Immediately. So. <laughs> You know, when we set this challenge, you might have said, there's no way of doing that. Oh, that's a big just, one. You're going to take that out. Yeah. But like once you, you just try it and it just works. Oh, there was, there was no real challenge to it. You just had to be brave enough to try. Yeah. Very cool. And then, uh, and your bag of water isn't a great bag, bag of water. Of so uh, water. do try that one at home. If you're feeling brave, try it over someone's head. We're yeah, not going to do that today because there's a lot Stick of uh, it looks pretty electronics cool, it? around. Yeah. So we probably won't do that today. But do try it at home and let us know if you try it. Mm. Um, now we've got that. So I'm going to set a challenge for yeah. next. We have next week's challenge to set. Yeah. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And this one is uh, nice and simple. Yeah. Well, you oh, don't need much Sophia for saw the lightning show here at Explorium. Yes. So we have, all you're gonna need is a piece of paper. Yeah. And your challenge <laughs> is to put the piece of paper uh-huh. under water uh-huh. without it getting wet. Oh. That's your challenge, <laughs> is to put a piece of paper <laughs> under water without it getting wet. Okay, challenge for next week. Yeah. Again, if you do try any of the challenges from this week or go back and try any of the ones from other weeks, do yeah. let us know on a social media account. I know Aoife is like a plastic bag full of water. Next to the Van de Graaff. I know. I, I know. know. Yeah, I, know. I should have thought about that when but I set clear. the challenge for last week. But yeah, we're clear. I so we're clear. We're going to play a game. 
yeah. that we made during the week. Okay. All right. I, we don't know how this is going to go now with the electronics, like we said. Yeah. Um, but basically, we're going to both try and be part of an electric circuit. Uh-huh. Um, so we made this fun game. Uh-huh. With some copper tape. Yes. Now, copper conductor. tape will conduct electricity, so the electricity will pass through it. Yeah. So, what we are going to do is Mark is going to put his hand on the dome. Yes. So, he's going to build up side charge. It's not going to be able to go anywhere because he's no. going to stand, stand on this block. On a, on a block so, so, he's insulated from the ground. Yeah, so, electricity so can't pass flow. through him. It'll just build up on me. We are each going to pick a number oh. from a cup. So, numbered one to five which corresponds right. to one of the lanes of copper tape. If we both pick the same number. Complete the circuit. We will complete the circuit. Electricity will flow. The electricity will flow. I'll get a shock. And someone's getting zapped. I'll get a shock. Yeah. Yeah. So you might you, you might get like I'll get feel, a, a tingle. A, feel a tingle. I'll feel a tingle, yeah. But it'll be I'll be the finger uh, with the all that electric field built up on me going towards a possible connection for the circuit and yeah. a spark will jump from me through the conductive copper. Uh, I'll get an electric shock. People are picking numbers. And uh, you'll get a little tingle. I'll get a little tingle, yeah. So we'll <laughs> <laughs> Fleur is just like three. Will we, will we go with that? Will we? Will we go with that? Well, no, because we have to match up. Oh, so maybe. that's the way it works. Um, so well, we're gonna, we guys Okay, yeah. So we're gonna pick numbers out of a hat Mark here. Mark three, Fleur. It doesn't work. So what like we're gonna that. do is we're gonna try and do it so that Mark can't see. I'm gonna pick my number first, and I'm gonna put my yes. finger on one of the lanes, and Mark unless he looks at his laptop, won't be able to see which lane I'm on. So the only way Mark's going to know if we made a connection is if he gets a shock or not. Oh. Sophia, we are trained in CPR, so it's okay. I'm going to move the laptop away so we can Take we'll it stay, off we'll stay on yeah, these, yeah. these sides. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move the laptop further away. So yeah, it might go as we discharge, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Are you nervous? Um, uh, no. <laughs> I'm not convinced that you're not. Oh, well, many cables, yeah. many electronics. Fleur said both of you pick three. <laughs> We're going to let Chance, and if, if, if Chance doesn't get a shock, we'll just do it. Okay, so okay. it's it's far far enough away. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, tie so. my shoes, but not that it makes a difference. Okay. Okay, so you're going to stand on your insulating block. Yeah, so let's get the chair here. Safe. I'm going to stand on the block again to make sure I'm insulated. Okay. And uh, I might, do I go totally out of shot when, yeah, you but it's fine. Do. Uh, it's still me. Yeah. Okay. okay. So would you like to pick your number first before you turn it okay, on? Okay. Okay. Uh, and we're just reaching in, picking reaching a number. Reaching in, picking a number. Okay. Can we show the guys at home? Yeah. Can we tell each other? No. Okay. The so the way you're going to find out is if we get shocked or not. Okay. Okay. So, so don't, don't look. Close, close your eyes for a second. Okay. This is my number. Okay. You got? Yeah. Okay, so, and this. And I'm not going to look at what your number is. Okay. Okay, so, don't look. Yeah. This is my number, okay? So, we're not aware uh, yet. So, you guys now know if they're going to match up or not. Yes. We don't, don't. don't. Don't tell us in the comments. We don't. Okay, so, so I'm going to hold up the board and I'm going to put so my... So, I can't see it now. And uh, where are my numbers? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, and I'm going to put mine on... Okay, I'm going to move this... My number. Just here, okay. Okay. And we're going to see... Okay, so, I'm going to build up... Um, A bit of charge. Charge. I'm gonna. I can probably. I can probably hunker yeah, down. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So I'm insulated here, and I'm let's uh, hold the board here. Okay. Okay. Whenever you're ready, you want to okay, build so the charge. Okay. So I'm going to. Um, I'm gonna take my watch off. Yeah. Maybe. Great shout. Yeah. Good. I don't you'll think enough will pass. You'll be grand. Still. Okay. All right. Ready. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. again, I'm insulated from the ground, uh, and that that charge is building up on me right now, uh, and. I can take one hand off, just like I'm going to do this, and I'm going to put the other hand on the number that I got, and uh, we'll know if it's the same one as Ali's, because I'll get an electric shock. Okay, you ready? Yeah. You're going to be, you're, you, you can see me. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, Oh, no dice, okay. no dice. Okay, okay, okay. so we got to pick another number. Okay. Or I'll just pick another number. Yes. And you can just stick to the same one. Uh, no. Can you pick a number? If you can pick a number, pick a number. Okay. So I got it. Okay. So okay. I'm going to show the guys my number. Okay. My okay. eyes are closed. This is my number. It's cool. Go for it. Oh, I put my number back in. Yeah, so did I. Yeah. Okay. So this, uh, don't look. Yeah. So, uh, very hard with one hand here. You're doing great. Okay. This is my number, people. Okay. Hope you can see that. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. You done? Okay. So I'm putting my finger on my number. Okay. And I'm gonna put my. Okay. Yeah. I had last time. Really? Yeah, I was okay, one this okay, time. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Another round. Another round. Okay. I'm gonna move hands. Okay. It's, it's hard holding the hand up the whole time. Okay. 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 I'm gonna pick another number. <gasps> okay. 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 And we can still pick the same numbers, yeah? We need some like tension music. Yeah, we almost do. This is terrifying. Okay. Okay. Uh, you go. I'm gonna. My number is. I can see it down here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And this is uh, my number here. Okay. I can see that. Okay, I hope they can see that. You done? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go back on. <laughs> or Flair can pick a number for both of you. <laughs> it might come to that, Flair, because someone's getting shot by the end yeah. of this. Okay. Okay, my right, finger's yeah. on my number, yeah. Okay. Oh no, I was oh. on one. Okay. 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 Can we do one more round. <gasps> oh. Oh. One more round and see what happens. Yeah, one more round and see what happens. Then Flair gets her way. Okay. <laughs> then Flair gets her way. Okay. Okay, this is. This is my number. Okay. And this is my number here. Okay. Okay. <sighs> the tension. Okay. Okay. All right. I forgot my oh. number. Oh yeah, I know my number. Okay, ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay, charge building up on me. Lots of static charge building up on me. Oh, I forgot my, oh, I got my number. Right. I'm on two. Oh, <laughs> okay. 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 I think we got it. Just, I think we got it. I don't think. I don't think chance is on our side, or it's very much on our side. Have, do we, have we got two numbers left? To or did we? How, how many did we pick? Four. Yeah, we do. Okay, one more. Yeah. One more, and then uh, and then we'll put a chance. Okay. So I'm gonna put the numbers are going back in. It's reckon the chances, but we'll we'll. Uh, oh well, yeah, I can put oh. mine back in every time. So. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's the same. Yeah. Okay, so you pick uh, you pick a number and I'm gonna pick a number two, and we'll get uh, we'll do five each, and then if not, so we'll see what happens. Okay, you show yours. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and don't look. Oh, sorry. And this is my number. Okay. Okay. So all right, let's give it a shot. Oh, all right. Okay. Charging back up. Okay, that static charge building up on me. Everyone's just saying three. We just do three. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll see. Okay. Two, three. Okay, so the charge is building up on me. Okay. Let's try and complete a circuit. Ready? No. I'm on an upside down two. I'm on a five. Oh, I see. Let's just do three. Okay, let's just do three. Okay, my hands on three. Okay, ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Fleur, you're getting your way here. Everyone's on for three. Okay, let's uh. Oh, you. <laughs> scared? Yeah, I hope you get a shock too. Okay, I'll get something. Okay, here we go. We're gonna yeah. complete that circuit. Yeah. All the charge building up on me. Let's get too close to the. Oh, Ooh. that wasn't too bad. Not too bad. Not that too wasn't bad. too bad. Okay, let's let's try it. Let's try it. But do one. One. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, no, no, no. That was okay. I'm worried our board is doing some insane. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna remove the partition board. And I'll build up some more charge on me. <laughs> That's the line. Destroy my arts and crafts from earlier on. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna smooth out number three. I think we just gotta go for number three. Okay, okay. I'm building up a lot of charge here. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah, number three. I'm gonna go. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's do, uh, let's do, do all of them. Let's do one. Yeah, let's do all of them. Okay, I'm gonna go closer. Okay. Oh, I can feel it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Two. Oh, that's not, that was oh, not that too was bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Three, three gets you. Yeah, three gets me. Okay, four. Okay. Yep. Oh, I can hear it. You like, can I hear can it. Hear yeah, you can hear it in the charge. It. Okay, and number five. Okay. Oh, oh, that was. Oh, five's good. Five got gotcha. you. Yeah, give it gives five again. Give it gives five again. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I heard that yeah. was a good, a good, a good, spark a good one. on that one. Why okay. is five so good? I don't know. Can we go closer? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is, yeah. <laughs> 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 Do you want to try it? Yes. Do you want yeah. yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. let me. Okay. Uh, so you're going to turn it off to charge it? Yeah. Because I feel very little oh, when nice. Mark does it. Yeah. Yeah, so I get, I get the, I get the brunt of that shock. Have we, oh, are we black? I've, I discharged that with me at me arm. We're possibly mm. black. 
and we're doing that. It's like waiting for blackout. Oh, my laptop we're like doing the communication uh, bit on Mars when there's blackout. Oh, my laptop just logged out. Oh, your laptop. Grant, that's fine then. We that? were literally doing that like moment when you're trying to, you have the communications blackout when the Mars Perseverance rover is landing on Mars and they're all just waiting like, oh, are they going to come back? Have we gone back? Well, I bet this is going to be stronger now than when you did it for some unknown reason. Yeah, I hope so. Okay. Do I need to take these off? No, you can't. No, I'll just take this one off. Because okay. this one's metal and it feels like I just. Okay, know. so we're swapping places, yeah? Yeah. Alright, and we're gonna go on. Th uh, we'll just go, we'll go on uh, five. We'll just go straight on five, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I just put one hand on? Yeah, just one hand, yeah. Cool. Uh, do, will I turn on? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I want, I'll check if. Uh, uh, put put two hands on, like, on, and we'll see if the ch a charge builds up on it. Let's see if that happens in here. I don't feel anything on my hair. Normally we feel it on the, on the big man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I'm, I'm connected to the, to five and the ground. So I'm connected to five and the ground and Ali is... Ooh. Do no, you have only a no, little one? No, no, just, just tiny one. Okay, okay, only only a little one. Yeah. Only a little one. So I'll let it build up a bit more. Okay, okay. My hands are clammy. Okay. All right, hopefully this one's yeah. a big one, okay? Okay. Hopefully it's a big one. Okay, Which, are you going for five again? Five again, this is right, I'm gonna go. I'm going to go closer here, all right, so... Woo! Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> it's like um, it's like when you touch an electric fence. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. the same kind of. It wake you up in the morning. It would wake you up in the morning. It'd wake you up in the morning. If you've got sweaty hands, such as band grafting, you what'll happen? I've got sweaty hands right now. <laughs> you get All shocked. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it off. Okay. Hey. All right, we're clear. We're clear. All right, you're Solid. still alive. You're still, I'm still alive. alive. You are still alive. You've got no chair anymore. <laughs> I got no chair and and no laptop. We're all the way over here. I'm going to bring this in and uh, I think we should, um, before we're ending the show, we'll, uh, we'll discharge it um, all at once. Oh yeah? Yeah. A big one. Like, why not? Like, why not? For, for Super Science Saturday. There's so many. Okay. Okay. All right. There you're we gonna, go. You're going to commit to this. like. Oh yeah. I'm going to absolutely go for it. Like, uh, make sure everyone can well, see that. Well, to be fair, we should say that we have to end it on a big one because we are not going to be coming to you oh, guys yeah, with yeah. a live show next week because it is the start of engineers week yes which so we're doing a lot for yeah mm -hmm. next weekend saturday and sunday we are going to be running workshops f with engineers ireland as part of their family day to launch mm -hmm. um to launch engineers week so for that reason we will be uh building bridges and stuff at the time that's super yeah and they have. are live shows so you can yeah. tune into them the, the, the there will be one starting at 10 45 so, so close kind of close enough to, enough to super, super Science Science Saturday. yeah you just gotta make your tea a little bit earlier yes and um, so we will be coming with to you guys with that live show next week but you can register for it, so th some of those workshops yes and join so, in. so check them out we will be live just not in super science saturday capacity yes we'll be doing some engineering workshops but uh yeah check them out as well yeah. you can see 10 45 10 45 is the first one yeah uh, uh, we'll uh, we'll put the details on social media during the week anyway possibly, possibly. Like, if, if someone if someone yeah. remembers yeah, yeah. <laughs> now before we go uh uh, blow my head off we have uh, another electric personality that we have oh. we're going to shoot over to who's got um, a cool new uh, football segment football. where he's going to teach us all about it's his uh, favourite thing it makes sense that that's what he's yes. going to do like um, and of course sports and science go together like cake and candles me Oh, cake and candles is fine. Yeah. 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 Cake and you was green. Yeah, yeah also works. Sophia saying bye. Sophia, we're not going yet. She's out of here. She's like, it's been 55 yeah. minutes. I'm out of here. We are going over to the tomfoolery of Professor Rob. Welcome to the new and improved Professor Rob. Now, long time viewers will notice that I'm often wearing a football jersey. Yes, fans, I am indeed a big fan of the old soccer. It's even saying that makes me sick. So I've decided to take things in a different direction and decide to talk about things in the world of football because football can be quite scientific. Today's topic has a lot to do with what I'm wearing. This is a France jersey from 1998. A big year for French football as it was the year that Kylian Mbappe was born. Now, if you're a fan, you will have noticed this week, Kylian Mbappe had a star-making performance against Barcelona, becoming just the second player in Champions League history to score a hat-trick at the Camp Nou, the first being a baby-faced Andrei Shevchenko for Dynamo Kiev. Amazing. Another fun fact, the only other player to score a Champions League hat-trick against Barca was Tino Asprial of Newcastle United. Yes, fans. 
Younger viewers might not realize that Newcastle at one stage were pretty good. But back to Kylian Mbappe. He scored an incredible 16 goals in 21 games, which most in France think is actually quite lacking for his skill. He's also scored just five goals in eight Champions League games this season, putting in some pretty poor performances against Manchester United. Anyway, Europa League. Anyway, the game against Barca was impressive for a number of reasons. Of course, he scored his hat-trick, but by seen by this very professionally done heat map here, he was all over the pitch, constantly tracking back to help his left back as he overlapped. An incredible skill and quite reminiscent of his compatriot Thierry Henry. Now, French football for years has been trying to find a new Henri, the same way Irish football has been trying to find a new Robbie Brady. That's right, he's a hard man to replace, especially for the fancy football team. Killian is going to have an incredible career, assuming he doesn't sustain a long-term injury, a la Michael Owen, who himself, fans, again, was a pretty good player when he was Mbappe's age before he did his hamstring. Ruins the pace. His future, well, after his performance at the week, Many think that he might stay at PSG. I, of course, think he should go somewhere else. Shelburne. Go to Shelburne. And, of course, there is the rivalry with blonde robot Erling Haaland. A man who is so lacking in emotion and is such a potent goal scorer, it's easy to see another comparison with Henri. Is Haaland going to be his rude Van Nistelrooy? Only time will tell. For next week, I want you all to do me a favor. In the comments, let me know if there's anything sporty you'd like me to talk about next week. Side note, I will not talk about GAA. It is an activity, it is not a sport. Anyway, Malcolm, who are the, who are the two that I'm trying back to? Mark and Ali. Huh, Ali Becker and Mark Bosnich. Back to you, you fair key. He's forgetting our names. I'm just buzzing that uh, League of Ireland's coming back. Yeah, dead right. Uh, Rob, you, you touched a nerve with Sophia there. Obviously, uh, Sophia, who do you support? Um, <laughs> stop laughing, cameraman. <laughs> cameraman, who could yeah, that who possibly could, who could be? That be? Uh, yeah, Sophia, I wanna, who do you support, Sophia? Um, some big matches today too and tomorrow. And League of Ireland's coming back. League yeah, of Ireland's is. coming back. The, Cab the Cabo UCD banter is coming back. Yes, it is. The rivalry is back. Okay, so we're going to bang on the Van de Graaff. And we're just going to let it build up a charge. Uh, to end the show, I will just be getting shocked. Uh, Yay! For the crack. So it's I what everyone wants. Not insulated from the ground. I am a, a, You're on the ground. Yes. Uh, a very attractive route for this lightning to shoot into. So let's... Uh, you say so yourself. Do you want to get hit? No. <laughs> All right, then. So... Oh, Sophia's a Liverpool fan. Ah. Okay. So... Uh, there's a possibility the screen will go black. If it does, that is the end of the show, okay? Mark's probably fine. Okay, so uh, right now the Van de Graaff is on. You'll hear the rumbling on it. The friction's occurring, uh, and that electric charge is building up on the dome right there. Oh, I can feel my hair standing a bit now. Why? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. A little bit. So remember that uh, we are not coming to you in a Super Science Saturday capacity live next nope. week. Um, but we, you can check out our Engineers Ireland uh, shows. And then we'll be back the following week for episode 25. Yeah, yeah. So before uh, this whole thing gets wrecked, thank you all for joining us here on Super Science Saturday. We hope you have oh, a yeah, fantastic Saturday. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, I don't know if you can see that. Probably but not. But there it's are some... dying to discharge. Yeah, it is. And uh, we're going to give it a, 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 a route a, to a discharge. Path. Okay. So, so I'm going to turn, turn off, off first. Okay, all that static charge is built up on it. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Time to discharge all at once. Oh, I can feel it. Hey, <laughs> there you go, everyone. Bye, Have a everyone. super science. Happy Saturday. <laughs>